Hi, my name is Kent Thum Lau. I'm the Education Specialist at the Hawaii Department of Agriculture Plant Quarantine Branch. What we do here at the department is very important for the state of Hawaii. We protect Hawaii from invasive species. And today I'm going to talk about a few species that we've come across um, through our inspection process. Right here we have the uh, coconut rhinoceros beetle. Uh, this beetle is here and found only on Oahu. It predominantly feeds on coconut trees, but will feed on palm trees. And Hawaii is known for their palm trees and coconut trees, so we, this is a big concern for us. Uh, right here we have a koki frog. Um, right on the island, Hawaii Island, it is a major pest. It, there are no natural predators. It's not fr uh, from Hawaii, it's native to Puerto Rico. Uh, right now, there are thousands of this uh, frog on the island of Hawaii, and um, it has a loud, unique call. It's almost as if it's saying its name, um, but there are thousands of them. There's no natural predators, so it multiplies really fast, and um, we try to prevent it from spreading across the entire state. Uh, we have an emperor scorpion. This was smuggled in. Uh, this was um, intended for uh, probably as a pet, uh, on the mainland again, you can buy that. Uh, in Hawaii, we say no. That uh, this emperor scorpion is very venomous, and so we are concerned with it multiplying quickly here in Hawaii and attacking or ca causing harm to humans and our small pets. Um, right here, we have a jar of brown tree snakes. We are concerned uh, greatly about this snake because um, on the island of Guam, where this snake has devastated the, uh, the island. Uh, it has killed nine out of 12 of its native bird species. Uh, we have flights every day from Guam, and so the potential risk for this snake to come to Hawaii is great. Uh, there you go, that's the koki frog calling. On Hawaii Island, there will be thousands of that frog calling. This is the uh, Madagascar giant day gecko. Another uh, mainland pet trade animal. Uh, it gets up to 12 inches in length. It's very nice colored. Uh, they can carry salmonella on their skin. If this were to get into the wild, it can feed on our native uh, insects, such as the happy face spider. Um, and uh, it could also uh, damage our native ecosystem as well. Right here we have a tarantula. Now this tarantula was found or intercepted by us. It, um, it can be devastating to our animals, our native animals and insects. Um, what it, uh, why it's bad is uh, all the hairs on its body, it can shake it off. It can go on your skin and be irritating. It can also go into your lungs and cause uh, like a uh, allergic reaction. So we are, uh, we want to make sure that that uh, the tarantulas and a lot of these animals are not um, in Hawaii. Uh, lastly, we have a land hermit crab. On the mainland, they market this very well. As you can kind of see, this there is a picture of Batman painted on the shell. And so that's how they, uh, the pet stores, they market it um, so that people will buy it. But unfortunately, you can't have a land hermit crab here in Hawaii. Um, if you do have an illegal animal, we have an amnesty program. Uh, you can turn it in, no questions asked. The penalty for having uh, an illegal animal, such as a snake or a, a land hermit crab, is uh, three years in jail and up to $200,000 fine. Um, we want to protect Hawaii from invasive species. Uh, Hawaii is unique, our environment is unique, and we want to make sure that we can uh, live and work and play here. And so here at the department, uh, we try our best to keep Hawaii invasive as species free.